Ready? You ready? I'm ready. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Today, Greg and I are out here in the yard and we're gonna show you the easiest way that we know to hang a mobile tree stand. I'm basically just gonna walk you through our process from start to finish right here at the base of the tree and I'm gonna do this as if I was out there hunting by myself. As you all know, if you've watched a few of our videos, most of the time we're hunting in groups of two where we've got somebody shooting and somebody filming. But on a few of our hunts over the years, especially Greg's hunts, where he's doing a lot of self-filming, he's got to hang all this gear by himself, which is what most people are dealing with. So I'm going to show you the process that uh, I use to hang the stand and sticks, basically by myself in the woods. I've got a couple of bee sticks down here, and these are the ones I used last fall. I actually was on a hunt up at my dad's farm late October last year where I was hunting by myself and I had to set everything up. For me, on average, it takes me 30 minutes or so to get everything up in the tree. Now granted, that's with all the camera gear and if you're just hanging a stand and sticks, it's gonna go much quicker. I'm gonna put the first stick right about the height of my knee. That way I can have a good, comfortable step up there. And the most important part of this whole process is a lineman's rope. So it doesn't really matter whatever safety harness you want to use, this is really the handiest little gadget that makes this process extremely easy. Whether it's putting sticks on the tree to hang in the stand, I'll show you how much easier it is when you're using this lineman's rope. Okay, so I got my first stick up. I'm gonna grab my second stick and head up the tree. Since we're just showing you our method here, we're not going to go all the way, you know, 15, 20 feet up in the tree. I'm just going to put two sticks up here. The lineman's rope's already super handy because I got both my hands free. I can lean all my weight against the tree and still have plenty of room to sit here and work with both hands. Now, whoop. that could be that could be the the end of this segment. <laughs> Let's see what Dave's doing. Is he moving another mower in or is he getting ready to mow? Dave's got a lot of grass to mow, so he's probably going to be at it for a while here. Now, the second stick, I'm going to do the same thing. I want it right about knee height. And this one in particular is going to be the stick that I use to get into the stand. So, right before I get ready to set my stand up, I'm trying to anticipate exactly where I'm going to put the platform and then put the stick just to the left of the platform. So right here, if I anchor this stick right here and I put my stand right here on the tree, right in this little gap between these two branches, I can step easily from this stick and into the stand. Instead of having to swing my legs all the way around the tree like a monkey and just get into some crazy positions. Been there, done that. It's not fun. Knee high, cinch it down. Then make sure before you step on the stick, that you push it into place with your weight. These bee sticks got really sharp teeth on them, so they grip super tight, as you can tell. And once I get my weight on the stick, we're good to go. But since I'm doing this by myself, if I had more sticks or a stand or whatever, most of the time what I do is I just go back down the tree. Obviously that takes a little bit of time. Greg likes to put sticks in the loops of his harness and pack them up with him. Sometimes I've even tied them around my safe line and then pulled the safe line up while I got my stand on my back that way I can just make one trip up the tree but if you got enough time it's just as easy to climb down grab it and then take it back up that's what I'm gonna do right here with the stand another thing make sure you do before you get up in the tree pull your straps off your stand and have them hanging here like this a lot of times when we're packing stuff we'll have those straps wrapped around the post and have a bunch of crap anchored to the stand and then we'll get up there and we'll have to untangle everything before we hang it so it's a good idea to go ahead and pull those things free and just have them hanging there so you get up here and have the least amount of movement possible this is where the lineman's rope is obviously super important this is extremely difficult to do one-handed and that's how i used to do this when I was younger and much dumber, you'd have one arm wrapped around the tree like this while you're trying to hold the stand up here with your chin. It was just really not smart. Not safe. Not safe either, no. 
once you use the lineman's rope one time to do this, you're like, wow, what have I been doing all these years? So take the stand. You can do this any number of ways. You can put the top strap on or the bottom strap, whatever you prefer. I'm going to put the bottom strap on. There you go. Now the bottom strap's got all the way to the stand. Just cinch it in. Top strap, piece of cake. That's another nice thing with using these super lightweight stands. Easier to wrangle up here in the tree like this. Okay, now super important part. Before you step into the stand, you wanna cam it over. What I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna take the weight off by folding the platform up, as you can tell. And Greg, come over here and they'll, you can get a shot of how loose these straps are now. See how that just took all the weight off these straps when I cammed it up like that? Now, cinch those down a little bit tighter and go to fold it back down. Ugh. Now that thing is super tight in the tree and it's not going anywhere. And you can cam over any type of a stand like that. I mean, it doesn't have to just be these lone wolves. Anything that's using a cinch strap like that, always a good idea to fold it up and then cinch them down before you step in. Greg swiftly reminded me a second ago that I forgot my uh, second tether, my second lineman's rope and he tossed one of them up here to me. What you do before you swing into the stand, as you can tell, I've been climbing up the tree and hanging everything hands-free with my lineman's rope here. I got my second lineman's rope. Before I disconnect this, I'm gonna go up here with it, about head height. And take my tether on my harness and just clip in there. Now I'm tethered in up top. Before I step into the stand, I can remove my lineman's rope. Super simple. Step in. Just like that. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. You can stay attached to the tree the whole entire time. The main thing is just to find you a safety harness and get these ropes. They're the, that's the number one thing I can tell you is gonna make this process so much easier is use the lineman's rope in your tether. I mean, how, how long do you think it takes us to get up in a tree, Greg? I mean, by ourselves, without all the camera equipment, maybe 10, 15 minutes? Without camera equipment? Yeah. On an easy tree, it'd probably be five to 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 to 15 on a tree that has branches that you need to kind of figure out how to wedge a stand in there and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, if you got a good straight trunk and a good plan of how to go up and, and already know where you're gonna put the stand before you start going up the tree, it's not gonna take you very long if you're using this equipment. Sure, if you're by yourself, you might have to make a few more trips down and back up with your gear to get higher. It's not a huge deal at all, so long as you've got the right gear. Hopefully that helps, guys. Get out in the yard and practice and get ready for the season. Fall will be here a couple of months. We'll be doing this every day, hopefully. See you guys on the next video. Here's a carabiner back. <laughs>